Assalamu alaikum and uh, hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss with you people about the subject business research methods. And uh, today we discuss the introduction of the business research methods. Re and search. The prefix re means again a new or over again. Later verb means to examine closely and carefully, to taste and try or to probe. Together they form a noun describing a careful, systematic, patient study and investigation in some kind of knowledge undertaken to establish facts or principles. Application of scientific method in searching for the truth about business phenomena. These activities include, in, include defining business opportunities and problems, generating and evaluating ideas, monitoring performance, and understanding the business process. Another definition of the business research is the business research is an organized and systematic inquiry or investigation into a specific problem undertaken with the purpose of finding answers or solution to it. Another so the term business research is defined as the systematic and objective process of generating information for aid in making business decisions like including financial research, operational research or marketing research. So if we conclude that what is the business research, business research is the systematic and objective process of gathering, recording and analyzing, analyzing data for aid in decision making. So the business research is the research information is neither intuitive nor haphazardly gathered. It is not based on your mind or thinking nor it is collected or gathered in an urgency or in hurry. Literally speaking, research or re Search means search again. So business research must be objective. It must have some sort of the objective. It's very much clear. It must be, must be detached and impersonal rather than biased. It facilitates the managerial decision process for all aspects of business. So it's not uh, business research is not collected in a hurry or not based on your thinking that you think like this one that is why this is the research no and uh, this means searching again and again is the research and business research must be objective it must have some sort of the objective and uh, it it should be detached from your personal biases. One cannot force his or her research results as per the biasness. So it, uh, the business research facilitate the managerial decision process for all aspects of businesses. Usually business people are the managers that need to make the decisions. To make any sort of the decision, someone needs the information. And some informations are reliable and some are unreliable. To, and whenever we make any kind of the decision, there is an uncertainty involved. 
So, this, through reliable information, uncertainty can be reduced, just like I don't know if we should offer on side, side child care. Someone is thinking that whether to offer some sort of a new program or not. But this research, it ain't the things we don't know that gets us in trouble. It's the things we know that ain't so. It's not the issue that we don't know. If we don't know, then we are not going to make any kind of the decision. And, uh, but the issue or the real problem is that someone is thinking that whatever he or she is thinking is right. So whatever you know, you believe that it is right. If you make your decision on the basis of your information, which is not totally correct, then it will create problem for you. There are two main types of the research. The research is divided into two parts. One is the basic research and other one is the applied research. The term basic research, really we call this type of research is a academic research, attempts to expand the limits of knowledge not directly involved in the solution to a pragmatic problems. So the academic research is carried out to extend the academic knowledge. As the faculty members are doing or conducting the research for the extension of their knowledge, so if someone is doing the conducting the research which is not going to solve the immediate problem is included into the basic knowledge. If we talk about few examples of the basic research, like is executive success correlated with high need for achievement? Are members of highly cohesive work groups more satisfied than members of less cohesive work groups? Do consumers experience cognitive dissonance in low environment situations? These are the few examples of the basic research. So the secret of success is to know something nobody else knows. So the applied research is usually conducted by the researchers when asked to find some sort of the immediate solution of any issue, just like recent in recent times countries are facing the issue of the COVID and there are many people who are conducting the research to develop the new vaccines, medicines about the coronavirus. There are also other examples of the applied research like should McDonald aid Italian pasta diners to its menu whether they include the new kind of the dinners into its menu. Our business research told McDonald's it should not. Means someone by conducting the research suggested the McDonald's that do not include it because people don't want to buy. Another example is that should Procter and Gamble add a high period or high priced home teeth bleaching kit to its product line. Procter & Gamble wanted to know that whether to include the new home teeth bleaching kit to its products, the research showed crest white strips would sell well at a retail price of 44. So these are the few examples. So you can say that research is of two types. One is the basic research which is conducted to extend the already available theories or increase increase the knowledge base and another is the 
applied research which is con conducted to solve the immediate nomenclature problem. Another term is the scientific method that whenever we talk about the research it means we are talking about the scientific research. What does the scientific research mean? The scientific method means the analysis and interpretation of empirical evidence, facts from observation or experimentation, to confirm or disprove prior conceptions, means collecting the data, empirical evidence and in interpreting that evidence and uh, uh, means facts or observations gathered through the experimentations and this all is done just to confirm whether that previous held view or opinion is right or wrong. The major topics for research in business generally are the general business conditions and corporate research, financial and accounting research, management and organizational behavior research, sales and marketing research, information systems research, corporate responsibility research.